Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for DNNHere.com and in this video I'll be showing how you can add flash animations, flash files to your .NET Nook website. So here's our sample site, our test site. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is log into the backend and you can log in as host or super account which I'll be logging as host. And in our test page, here is what I have to do. There is already a text HTML module added to that page. I'm just going to go and edit content under the action menu at the top where it says edit content. And then we are inside the text HTML area. We can just click inside and in the toolbar, in the editor's toolbar, there is a flash button that says flash manager. Just click on that Flash Manager, and then what you see here is the file system of your .NET Nook portal, your .NET Nook website. Now, as you can see here, I already have a, a Flash file which has the extension SWF added to my site, but I'm going to upload a new one. So at the top, I can click Upload, and then from here, I can select... This is browsing my local computer. I have a new flash that I want to add. And again, the extension is SWF. I can click open. And then I can click uh, override, overwrite if file exists, if there is any other file with that same name. But I can just hit upload. Now, there is a maximum file allowed of 4 megabytes. But there are places that you can, that you can change those settings to allow bigger files. And I think I have done a video on that one. If not, I will do one soon. But again, from here, let's click Upload. The file is uploaded to the site. It is selected now. Now, on the right side, there is Preview and Properties. Under Properties, you need to specify, to show it properly, you need to specify the dimensions of that banner. In my case, it's 800 by 200 pixels. The quality, I'll keep it high. I'll keep those options checked and unchecked, play, loop, flash menu. But very important to keep transparent checked, and I'll explain in a second. Uh, let's just leave it like this for now, and let's click insert. So you will see this uh, flash icon showing up. You don't actually see the, the flash animation from within the editor. You have to click save to make sure that you can see. So now I can see the flash. As you can see now that transparent option if we go back there to the content I just want to briefly mention I think it's worth mentioning that if I click in the in the flash in the editor I can go back to the flash manager and I'll select top top banner I will put again 800 I think this should have come as my previous settings but it just it doesn't for some reason, if I if I unchecked transparent, here's what it will happen. I will click save. See the flash is there, but if I move the mouse over the menus, the menus are showing behind the flash. This is a very common problem, very normal problem. So I just go there to the editor, and I'll make sure that transparent is checked. Again, the good thing is that transparent is checked by default. So. We usually don't have to worry about that in the in the new dot that took editor. In the new, um, this is the the right editor. So I'm gonna put 800 by 200 again. I'm gonna keep transparent checked. I'm gonna click insert, and then I'm gonna save this. And if I move the mouse over the menus, they will go on top of the flash, which is actually what we want to 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 happen here. So basically, this is it. This is how you can add flash files, flash animations to your .NET Duke website. Very simple, very straightforward. Thank you very much. Bye for now.